Paul Zimmerman. We're in the DevNet zone here at Cisco Live Melbourne, and we're celebrating DevNet's 10-year anniversary. We have a great crowd of our DevNet folks behind us with our partners, customers, and developers, and we're having a great time. I would like to introduce my first guest here, Shannon McFarland, who is our VP of DevNet. Welcome, Shannon. Hey, thanks for having me, Paul. My pleasure. Uh, you've been part of the DevNet crew for a long time before you joined us. Uh, Tell, us, tell me a little bit about your experience in the past and how it, how it feels to be part of the crew now. Absolutely, yeah. So I've had a lot of talks at DevNet over the years around the, the, each of the GOs. So I've covered uh, stuff from OpenStack to GitHub to Python to all kinds of different you know, other technologies and, and different GOs. And so now that I'm a formal member of the DevNet crew, not just a, a participant on the, the speaking side, I, I am thrilled to be here. It's, uh, it's just really great to see um, all of the passion that all of the developers have within our ecosystem and how they learn and how they consume our products programmatically. Uh, and it's just really great to see firsthand as an insider of DevNet uh, how all that works and, and the passion that they have. That's awesome. We're really glad to have you part of the team as well. And we've been DevNet 10 years now, it's crazy. What do you see coming in the future for DevNet? Yeah, I mean, I think that we're going to continue doing what DevNet has done. I mean, it's a winning uh, formula that we have, which is you know the education and enablement of folks with DevOps and application development against Cisco's product sets. Uh, but I think that we also have an opportunity to really uh, have a lot of thought leadership and technical leadership in areas where we're looking at maybe APIs against new technology trends. So things like APIs for artificial intelligence, APIs for sustainability. Um, I think these are all areas that are ripe for innovation. Uh, people are going to utilize APIs to interact with them from a scale, from a security point of view, and certainly from uh, a way to obtain uh, better observability of what takes place against those technologies. Uh, and so I'm excited about continuing what's winning and adding even more technology capabilities and helping our customers understand how to programmatically interact and build solutions on top of Cisco stuff. Excellent. Well, thank you, Shannon. Again, glad to have you on the team and leading us, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the party. Excellent, thank you, Paul, appreciate thank it. You. For my next guest from Cisco Learning and Certifications, I'd like to bring up Kareem Iskander. Hello, Kareem, welcome. Hey, hey Paul, thanks for having me. My pleasure. Uh, so Cisco use a new a new uh, thing from Cisco Learning and Certifications. I know there's a bunch of stuff for developers there. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, so uh, Cisco U is Learning and Certifications' latest uh, product. We It's a learning experience that we just recently released. Check it out at u.cisco.com. Um, Cisco U is essentially a learning platform that has a lot of content, you know, Cisco and adjacent technology, but specifically for DevNet, we have a bunch of content around automation, uh, around security, as well as some cloud content that we uh, collaborate with uh, adjacent technologies to bring in and provide our learner that entire solution in one place. That's awesome. Developers need to keep learning all the time, and so that's, that's great that you guys are doing all that stuff. Yeah. And as everyone knows, Cisco, you also, or Learning and Learning and Certifications also supports the DevNet certifications as well. Yeah, uh, for what's sure. What's going on with those? Yeah, so um, our DevNet cer certifications, our DevNet uh, certified community is going strong. Uh, we have um, uh, all of the content that you will need in order to successfully complete your certification exam from a DevNet associate, DevCore, EN Automation, and everything that we came up with here in DevNet is the training is available in Cisco U. We've also um, have released about a year or two years ago our DevNet Expert exam, and this is like the you know the the the, the destination where you 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 want to get to as a as a DevNetter. Yeah, so that's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> we, within learning and certification, we have a lot of uh, content as well as labs that will get you prepared for uh, the DevNet Expert exams. Kareem, thank you for joining me. I look forward to more collaboration between Cisco Learning and Certifications and DevNet, and I really appreciate you coming by. Yeah, thanks for having you, Paul, and uh, happy anniversary, DevNet. All right, next I'd like to bring up a member of our DevNet community, Abhijit. Thank you so much, Paul, how are you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm good as well. It's pretty exciting to see a DevNet completing 10 years uh, yeah. of anniversary, yeah. Yeah, welcome to our celebration Thanks here. So much. I understand this is your first DevNet zone? Oh yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Excellent. But I must say congratulations. We talked to Kareem about the certifications. You are a DevNet expert, which yeah. is a very rare thing to be. Tell me a little bit about how you went about learning that and how the exam went for you. Oh yeah, uh, 
uh, if I speak about the experience that I had with Devnet Expert, it's been a tough journey, of course. Currently, I, I, I must say that it's one of the most difficult certifications to crack. I started my journey back in uh, 11 years ago. I'm also a traditional routing and switching guy. But uh, ever since the SDN solution came up into the evolution, evolution uh, we started dealing with solutions like SD-WAN and SD-Access and all of that. And then DevNet came in. With DevNet, we started looking for ways how we can automate our networks and uh, how the provisioning of large-scale enterprise networks can be automated in a way to save a lot of time and a lot of manual ways. So uh, when I started preparing first, ever since DevNet came into existence, I started my DevNet associate preparations. So I also happened to uh, be class of 2020. Nice. And uh, then I continued my education and my effort towards becoming the professional. And then uh, after four attempts of my exam, I became a Cisco certified DevNet expert. I'm proud to be that. <laughs> oh, and we're proud that you did that. It's very, very, very well done for sure. Uh, I mean, how do you plan to use the skills that you've learned becoming a developer, using DevNet, uh, learn, doing through the certifications? How do you plan to use those skills as you move forward in your life? Well, being an instructor, um, I, I usually deliver trainings on DevNet and a lot of other solutions that Cisco caters. Um, when I started to deliver, when I started to deliver trainings on DevNet, it was just DevNet associate professional. But I interact with a lot of network engineers who happen to. Uh, work with a lot of solutions that I have. For example, let's say I deal with network engineers who deal with SD-WAN solution. So their daily job is to, uh, you can say, onboard new sites and then provision day one, day two operations on them. So they use the manual way of communicating with the controllers or the devices directly. But when I interact with them and when they enroll for some of my courses, then I deliver them knowledge of how they can communicate with the devices and the controllers programmatically to save time in doing the repetitive work that they do without, a, without programmability. So when I, when I do preach them about automation, well, it, it always happens that after a month or two months or even six months after, uh, some of the participants do reach out to me that, hey, you save a lot of our manual hours and cost as well. So implementing them definitely helps uh, if not me directly in my production environment because I'm an instructor, but for them, it really helps them to optimize their network and save costs. That's really great to hear. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that it's really working for you and that you're, yeah, you're helping yeah, people yeah. learn how to be developers. Of course, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here at Cisco Live and Likewise, the likewise. Congratulations uh, for DevNet to completing 10 years again, yeah. Awesome, It was nice you. meeting you, thank you. Thanks for joining us here at the DevNet Zone at Cisco Live Melbourne. Now back to you in the studio.